So your telepresence robot has arrived. It will likely come in a large cardboard box or pelican case. As soon as it does, make sure you let the team know it has arrived at your school safely. The first step is to get the robot out of the box or the pelican case. Make sure you follow all the instructions that are supplied by the team. And if you need any assistance, always ask someone to help or get in touch with the team. Once you've got the robot out of the box, you'll need to remove any of the packaging tape and then pull the hinge knob as you lift the tubing up. Release the knob and then wait for the click to let you know that the tube has been secured in position. The next step is to turn on the robot. The power button is located on the opposite side of the robot to the hinge knob. Simply push it and wait for the screen to light up. If the screen turns blue, you're ready to roll. If the screen is yellow, make sure you contact the support team so they can get you connected. Inside your box, you will notice a charging dock. To charge your robot, roll it up to the charging dock and wait for the pins to click into place. The light on the dock will change from red to blue to indicate you have a connection. Telepresence robots are especially fragile. And one example of that is the neck. And there's no need to move it manually because the user can control where they're looking from their end. Make sure you follow all instructions that are supplied to you about how you care for your robot. And if you've got any questions, make sure you get in touch with the team. To turn off the robot, it's as simple as pushing the on off button. Hold the button down until you see the shut off notification on the screen and simply tap the correct option. Once you're ready to send the robot back, it's simply a process of reversing the steps. Pull out the hinge knob, fold the tubing down, and then place it back in the box following all the instructions supplied by the team. Now that your robot's all set up, make sure you tune into the next video to learn how to make your first call.